Hello, everyone, and welcome to the MathDBase.com Anacast series. I'm your host, John Kishedu. In this installment in the Developmental Mathematics series, I will discuss fractions, part three, combining fractions. The additive inverse of a number is that number which, when added to the first, gives a sum of zero. To distinguish between a number and its additive inverse, signs are used. A positive sign indicates that the number is greater than zero, and a negative sign indicates that the number is less than zero. Additive inverses have equal magnitudes, but opposite signs. Positive 2 is the additive inverse of negative 2, because 2 plus negative 2 is equal to zero. Also, negative 2 is the additive inverse of positive 2, since negative 2 plus positive 2 is equal to zero. The negative of 3 over 7 is negative 3 over 7, or negative 3 sevenths and 3 sevenths plus negative 3 sevenths equals 0. Also, negative 3 sevenths plus 3 sevenths is equal to 0. Number lines can be used to visualize the relative positions of a number and its additive inverse. They can also be used to graphically show the sum of a number and its negative. Two fractions are called like fractions if their denominators are the same. To add like fractions, add their numerators and place the sum over the common denominator. To add 5 sixteenths, 9 sixteenths, and 3 sixteenths, add the numerators 5 plus 9 plus 3 for a total of 17. Then place 17 as the numerator over the common denominator 16, which has a mixed number is 1 and 1 sixteenth. To subtract like fractions, proceed as with addition, affixing the negative sign to the numerator of the fraction that follows it. To subtract 5 sixteenths and 3 sixteenths from 9 sixteenths, we write the numerators of the two subtracting fractions as their negatives, then add the resulting fractions. To get 9 sixteenths plus negative 5 sixteenths plus negative 3 sixteenths, the numerator will be 9 minus 5 minus 3 for a total of 1 and that will be placed over the common denominator 16 for a result of 1 16th. To add or subtract mixed numbers, combine the sum of the whole number parts of the numbers to the sum of the fractional parts. To subtract 3 and a third from 5 and 2 thirds, first rewrite the mixed numbers 5 plus 2 thirds, from which we are subtracting 3 plus 1 third. Rearrange to group the whole number and fractional parts of the problem then subtract 3 from 5 to get 2, and subtract 1 third from 2 thirds to get 1 third. The result is 2 plus 1 third, or 2 and a third. The lowest or least common multiple LCM of two or more numbers is the smallest number that is a multiple of each number. For a thorough discussion of multiples, have a look at the prime and composite number series. 72 is a common multiple of 6, 9, and 12, but 36 is the smallest or lowest common multiple of these three numbers. To find the LCM of a group of numbers, first write each number as a product of its prime factors. For a complete explanation of how to do that, see the prime and composite number series. Then write out each prime factor the highest number of times that it appears in any one of the factored numbers. The product of the factors from this last step is the LCM. For example, let's find the LCM of 6, 9, 12, 28, and 36. We're going to set up a table to keep things organized. 6 equals 2 times 3, 9 equals 3 times 3, 12 equals 2 times 2 times 3, 28 equals 2 times 2 times 7, and 36 equals 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. The highest number of 2's is 2 times 2 from 12, 28, and 36. The highest number of 3's is 3 times 3, from 9 and 36, and the highest number of 7's is 7 from 28. So the LCM is 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 7, or 252. To add or subtract unlike fractions, fractions that do not have the same denominators, convert all fractions to their equivalents using the LCM as their common denominator, the lowest common denominator, LCD. As an example, let's add 2 thirds, 7 fifteenths, and subtract 17 over 80. 
First, we'll set up a chart to find the LCM, which will be the common denominator of the fractions, the LCD. 3 is prime, 15 is equal to 3 times 5, and 80 is equal to 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 5. So the LCM LCD is equal to 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 5, or 240. Rewriting all of the fractions as equivalents in terms of the LCD, 2 thirds becomes 160 over 240, 7 over 15 becomes 112 over 240, and 17 over 80 becomes 51 over 240. Combining the fractions by finding the sum of the numerators and placing that sum over the common denominator 240, we get 160 plus 112 minus 51, or 221 over 240. A much simpler method of adding and subtracting fractions involves cross multiplication. Multiply the numerators by the other fractions' denominators to get the numerator of the combined fraction. Then multiply the denominators of the two fractions to get the denominator of the combined fraction. This cross multiplication method will always give the same result as the LCD method, but the answer will usually have to be reduced to lowest terms afterwards.